Howdy, fellas. I'm the Militant Horse, and welcome to Fox Hunt. Okay, so this game I found on itch.io, and it's apparently a puzzle game where your objective is to hunt down a fox. You know what? I've got an hour to spare, so I figured I'd give this game a try. And it says on the page that it's about an hour long, so, you know. Anywho, let me look at the instructions. So look as the mouse, WD, or the arrows to move, E, or left click to interact. Tab or middle click for clues. Q for details. Drop is X. Run is shift. Why would I need to know the shift, or I mean the run key, but you know what? Let's do this. <coughs> oh, yeah, you fox. Yo, foxy. Oh, no. Don't run away. No, don't run away. Aw. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be in multiple parts, but we'll just see so hello I don't know you but I call myself the Fox if you are clever enough and I remain uncaptured which amounts to the same thing uh, perhaps we will meet soon if you would prefer to be alone with your thoughts I understand feel free to wander this deathless dimensionless cold white desert for eternity but if you are still reading the location of the first clue should be fairly conspicuous. Look in the hatch that glows yellow as the sun passes over. The hatch may be rusted shut from ages of non-use. Give it a firm and steady tug. Okay. That'll work, so... Okay, um... Give me just a minute or so here. Um, this will probably be a uh, four-part um, special. Like, this will, well, not really a special, but this will probably be a four part series or so. That way. Ah! Uh, there we go. Ah, alright. Got that open. Let's take the second clue. You're wondering why the indirect communication. Well, there are others in this place, dull creatures, devoid of wit, who pursue me as well. I do not know what they would do if they caught up. Because they never have. I have remained uncaught this long by somewhat circumspect. Okay. So... Uh, let's take a look at this clue again. Um, so... Okay. Um... Let's see about this hatch. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. Okay, is it under this rock? Ah, there it is. I dropped the stone. Alright. Let's pick this up. But you and I, we can share language, laws, and logic. Let these be our tools of survival. Now, I call these structures pylons, for lack of a better term. Or perhaps they look something like an anchor to you. Whatever we call them, find this one and give it a good shove. Okay, so... Let's go over here real quick. Oh, that's cool. Um, is there anything else out on the wind? Out on the deserts? I'm gonna go back this way and see if I can find it, so... This... What is this? Looks like a piece from a airplane. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm, like... There's a very strange vibe I'm getting from this. Ooh, look at that. And it saved. And apparently it's got my next clue. Hey! No, no, Mr. Fox! Wow. Oh, bugger's fast. The rules of this place are somewhat familiar. Gravity, light, simple machines work as expected, but also uncanny. There is a yellow sun over our heads, but it is small and near, not large and distant. Remember the hatch that glowed yellow as the yellow sun passed over? Press that green button and see what glows under the green sun. Huh. What does glow under the green sun? I can't jump, so... Oh. <clears throat> Pry that open. Chi-ching! Alright! Carry- oh, oh, hold up. 
Uh, there we go. Carry this key to the farthest pylon and unlock it. You may have to walk quite a distance. Click, link. All right. Farthest pylon. So, does that mean over this way? I think it's over this way. I'll go take a look. Oh my god, there is a far away pylon. Oh, okay. Yeah, here it is. Alright. This switch will unlock the red button. To get back, you may retrace your steps or just keep going forward. I find no matter how far I walk, I always wind up back at the beginning. Click, click. Oh, look at that. And... Okay. Alright, this game's actually kind of cool. I like it. I like the aesthetic feel of it. Like, it's a very... You know, it's not like a vaporwave aesthetic, you know, not that meme aesthetic, but like, you know, in, in a serious regard, it's an actually really, really nice aesthetic to it. It has a really nice aesthetic to it. Like, what was that? That's glowing under the red sun. Oh, is it the door? Grr. That glows, um, under the red sun. Huh. Okay. So, looking around. That, the door's locked. However. Okay, that's not it. Um. Oh, wait. I should probably have looked at, uh, back up here. I think that has my next clue. Ah, it does, yes. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. But you must now hunt down and extinguish every single one of these red lights. Keep in mind, the last red light is overhead. Oh, no. That is pretty, but... Aw, I have to kill all the red lights. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I can't, okay, I can't kill it. Huh. Okay, I got two of them. Alright. Ah. Okay, so... Okay, so the lights stay around as long as the sun is overhead. Let's just move with the sun. That way I can... Oh, this is a cute game. I like this. Oh, shit. I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the sun to come back around. It's a very cute game. Very nice, calming puzzle game. Um. Shit. Uh. Whoops. Did I miss this? Uh. Did I miss some lights? Uh. Saved. Okay, I can't get the sun. Aw, oh, dang. Is that all the red lights? Is that all the, the little red lights? I think that's all the little red lights. So how do I extinguish the sun? Hmm. Do I go up here? Huh. No. Okay, so I can't go up there. Go back over here. Let me look. Okay, so the re Oh. Ah! There we go. Let's see what the blue light on what the blue light holds. Okay, so blue light is on. Ah. Ah, so we pried open a door. All right, down we go. Ooh, what's this? Chooting. What is this? Oh, ooh, nice. G 
Good, we're establishing patterns and good rapport. Sometimes, you won't need me to tell you exactly what to do. This next requires some explanation, however. Outside, you will find three other sun cubes, but this one, or like this one. Gather them and insert them into the four, uh, the four, uh, niches of this table. Okay. Uh. Ah, okay. Kerdunk. Alright, so we got the yellow sun cube. Hey, Mr. Fox! Aw. Alright, let's get this next one. Uh. Ah. Ah, we got the green cube next. Let's see, where's the green cube need to go? Is there a specific place, or... Perdunk. I'm gonna put this one back here. I can't crouch, so... I'm probably going to finish... Uh, I'm probably going to get this next cube, and then call the episode after this. But, I'm not sure. I need to go find the cube first. Uh... Huh. Where do I need to go? I'm gonna go out this way. See what's out here. I don't see anything over here. Um. Do 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 do. All right. I have to find the red cube and the blue cube. Uh, let me see. Huh. Deathless, my ass. <laughs> Look at that. There's a want I'm wandering out into the desert here. There's the start point again. Uh, go on back this way. Oh man. I really like the like overall atmosphere though, like of this game. It's very nice atmosphere, so um I'll tell y'all what, I'll cut to when I find the next cube. I'll let y'all know in just a minute. Alright, be right back. Ah, okay. Got the next sun cube. Alright, so I think this is the red sun cube? I'll see. No, it's the blue sun cube. Alright. So now that I've got the blue sun cube, I just need to find the red cube. And I don't know where the red cube might be. So I'm going to say the blue cube goes here. And... Hmm why that oh wait I probably have to get all the uh, cubes on the table and then that'll open up so um let me go over this way that's a rock nothing interesting about that rock or that stone rather uh nothing over here gotta look around closely to find the stone maybe the stone's back behind here Oh, there it is. Hey, looky there. It's the redstone. Ha, <laughs> redstone. Man, this one's got a lot of buttons to it. A lot of buttons on it. Oh, aha. We now have the red sunstone. Now, let's go down and handle. Ah, look at that. Oh, next. Now the sun cubes need to be activated. Look closely at them to find the buttons. When each cube lights up, carry it around to see what you can see. Oh, I've already activated them. Oh. Right-click, press Q while carrying it. 
drag the mouse to turn the item over in your hands. Oh, shit, I've already done that. Um, alright, well, uh, tell you what, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, call this episode here. Uh, we found all the sunstones, um, and we, I, we are, I think, about a quarter into this. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. So, um, yeah, I hope y'all do enjoy this episode. I'm gonna post this one, um, a lot, like, more. I'm probably gonna post this one, like, a little more, like, close together instead of giving it space, um, between each upload. And I'm also gonna try to start doing, instead of two uploads a week, at least, like, three or maybe even four uploads a week. I know I said a while back I'd try to do, like, weekly uploads, like, daily uploads, um, during weekdays, but... I'm going to try to add some more um, uploads throughout the week and eventually roll into adding more and more for y'all. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the part one of this series and do stick around um, because we're going we're gonna to get to finding Mr. Fox in the next one. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm Milton. Please, you know, just like comment subscribe do whatever you really think you have to i'm the milton horse and i'll see y'all later bye bye hello, hello, hello.